All right, what's up guys? Today we are doing a first look on the bread and butter filth. This is probably a company that not a ton of you have heard about, but if you are in my Discord, you know a bunch of people have asked for my thoughts on this paddle. It is a thermoformed paddle, and actually today we're gonna be directly comparing it to the Carbon 1X because as far as I can tell looking at the specs, they're the same thing on paper or extremely close, but the filth sells for 165 shipped, after discount code PB Studio, it's about 150, and the Carbon 1X after a discount code is somewhere around like 205, 210 ish. So if this does play like a Carbon 1X, it's a lot cheaper and might be something that you guys want to consider. So let's take a look. Like I said, the specs are very similar to the Carbon 1X, so I'm going to put those up on screen if you want to look at those now and see what all of the specs are. But for the most part, it's thermoformed, it's got the edge foam walls, it's got an octagon grip. Basically, if you're familiar with the Carbon 1X, the specs are identical to that, so you can look at those on screen now. <laughs> we suck. All right, so after doing some hitting with this, the paddle honestly feels pretty good. I wouldn't say it feels special in any way. I don't know, it just feels pretty good in the hands. All right, so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna hit the Carbon 1X and just compare it directly to that so we can kind of feel out how similar they really are or if there are some subtle differences that may make the Carbon 1X still worth buying over the fill. Got him. All right, so I've hit both the carbon and the filth a little bit now, and to be honest, there's not a big difference. I do feel like at the baseline, the carbon is hitting just a little bit harder, but the difference between these is extremely small. Dinking, I don't see any difference. Mid-court resets, they both feel great. It's literally just the drives that it might be hitting a tiny bit harder, and it's one of those things where maybe it's manufacturing variants. That one's also been used a bunch, so maybe the core is slightly crushed. I don't really know. Or I could even just be making up that difference in my mind. Ultimately, these play extremely similar, and this might be one of the fastest first looks I've ever done, because you could basically go watch my carbon review, and how I'm describing everything in that review is probably everything I would say about the filth. So, at first glance right now, if you're looking to save some money and you don't have a Carbon 1X already, but it's a paddle you are considering, I'd probably just recommend you go start with this, to be honest, because even if there is a small difference, if you haven't hit one of those yet, you probably wouldn't even be able to tell the difference. Now, if you're coming from a Carbon, it might be worth trying one just to see if you can get these a little bit cheaper, you know, save probably 60, 70 bucks by buying a Filth, but yeah, I don't know. They're close enough that I wouldn't say there's a big reason to buy the carbon right now. What's up guys, Imposter Brother here. Now I know me and Chris get mixed up all the time, but if you see me, there's a clear way to tell us apart. Obviously, so much better looking. Two, not a three five. So let's get into this. <laughs> so, the filth been using it for roughly like two months now um before this i was using a legacy uh i liked the power i liked the pop uh but they broke all the freaking time i broke like two of them immediately it was terrible started using this paddle i've actually used a couple different versions of it before it was released 
And funny enough, I actually hated this paddle when I first got it. it I didn't even want to play with it. I put lead tape on the paddle. I had put some at the throat and then initially up the side just below the head and then instantly fell in love with it, made it way better. I like a really heavy paddle. So typically mine are gonna be around nine and a half, almost 10 ounces. I'm experimenting with some different lead setups right now. So I took it off the sides. Still really like it. Uh, it's got tons of pop tons of spin. I like a really skinny grip. So I actually took the original overgrip off and then just threw one singular one on there. Feels better for a two-handed backhand. But overall so far, it's felt really great, especially in hands battles and overheads. Uh, overheads have a ton of power. If you've seen my brother play, he has about no put away power. Another way you can tell us apart, I'll actually put the ball away. It's clear. <laughs> you wanna know how else you can tell us apart? I can do this in one take instead of multiple takes. <laughs> <laughs> also, love this paddle for singles. Uh, it's got, an, it's pretty head heavy, which I actually prefer. Um, and I'm gonna set up another one of these four singles and I'm gonna throw head, uh, head weight around the top. Passing shots with this paddle feel great and volleys at the kitchen line are amazing. I get tons of pace off the paddle and I feel like I have really good control of direction with this and overall for singles. Awesome paddle. So overall, to kind of close this out, um, I think it's an awesome paddle, especially for the price. I also used to use a Carbon 1X, which this is basically exactly the same as a Carbon 1X, but way cheaper. Uh, if you're trying to save some money, I highly, highly recommend the Filth. It is, in my opinion, just as good, if not better than the Carbon 1X, and looks pretty cool. So overall, I would say thumbs up to the Filth. All right, so I came up with this new shot over the weekend and it's very dumb and I would not recommend it, but one day I am gonna successfully hit this in a tournament match. And I thought this would be the perfect paddle to demonstrate it because if you hit this cleanly, it would be pretty filthy. Oh, I almost hit the camera guy. Got him. A few moments later. Yep, jeez. All right, so we've pretty much wrapped up playing with the filth, and honestly, guys, the only area I can tell any difference from the 1X to the Filth is literally just at the baseline. The sound is a little bit different. I feel like I'm getting a little bit more power off the paddle, but honestly, it's really hard to say. I truly think if you are interested in a 1X, the Filth is worth checking out. Like I said, 60 to $70 cheaper. I think this is an awesome paddle. Now, I can't guarantee anything about delamination or core crushing. So far, the only report I have heard of that happening to a Filth is my brother breaking one and nothing else. So I don't know, maybe it will have the issue, maybe it won't, but pretty much as far as everything else goes, sweet spot, zero difference. It performs great, just like the other thermoformed paddles. I honestly have no complaints. I hitting both of them for resets, both felt awesome, both felt very easy. I don't think there's any difference there. The only thing on paper that was interesting is the swing weight on this was 125 versus 119 on the One X. This honestly doesn't feel that much heavier. I would say in my hand, I can feel it a little bit. It's hard to know why that is. Maybe there's just a little bit more glue in the head of the filth. I'm honestly not sure. I wouldn't say it's a big difference. I wasn't sitting out here going, ah, oh, man, it's way worse. They're both elongated, heavier swing weight paddles but I didn't feel like this was drastically slower, but be aware that at least on my model, the number was a little bit higher. Maybe I just got one that was higher than average though. So yeah, I could definitely recommend the Filth. As far as I'm concerned, this is a cheaper 1X and a very easy recommendation. So thanks for watching guys, and we'll catch you in the next one.